To use the Honey's Closet, all you need to do to get started is to connect your wallet. You can use MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, or one of your hardware wallets. Once you're connected, you do want to make sure you are on the Ethereum network, and then you'll come to your dashboard where there's some helpful information and links. Head over to your Dollies page if you want to start customizing a Dolly. Or you can view dollies that you've already created and go in and edit them. We're going to create a new one, so we're going to hit Mint New, and we're just going to be paying our gas fee. Once the transaction goes through, you'll see you have a brand new dolly, a fresh canvas to create on. Once you get to the creation page, you can choose to start from scratch, picking a background you like, a skin tone, some eyebrows, your eyes, and everything you can imagine, or you can just choose to hit randomize all and see what happens. You can also go in and dye your individual items. So I'm really liking this hat, but I think I would rather have it be blue to match her skin tone. So I'm gonna go in and see all the dyes that I own. As you can see, I've collected quite a few and dye all the individual pieces of her clothing. I'm really liking that and I kind of want to make her shirt match a little bit more. So let's take out the orange and maybe make it all pink and blue. Perfect. When you're all done making your perfect dolly, hit save and you won't need to pay anything again. All you need to do is sign a request in your wallet. All her data will be updated on the blockchain and you'll even be able to see it in marketplaces. Once your dolly is saved, you can head back to your dashboard and see all of your past dollies that you've created. I made this one a few weeks ago, but I wanna go in and change her top. So I'm just gonna click on her, scroll down to tops, Let's put her in a nice comfy hoodie, and then we can hit save Dolly to update her. I'm all done customizing for now, but I'm curious what items I have, so I'm gonna head over to my inventory and take a look. I've really been searching for this rare hat that I want. It's this beautiful crown, so I'm gonna click on the unlock requirement to see where I can get it. Looks like it's taking me to the Honeys 10K collection where all these honeys are wearing crowns. That makes sense. I guess I'm gonna have to buy one of those if I wanna unlock that item. How about something different? I'm really curious about this Bunny Day apron. I know that I own it, cause it's unlocked, but I'm really curious where it came from and why I have it. I'm gonna look at the unlock requirement Oh, and it looks like this item was unlocked through the Seasons NFT might get the Bunny Day Baker. This is a fun one. So I guess anybody who has that unlocks the same item too. Once I'm all done, I can just close the app and know that my dollies are sleeping safely. If I want to come back and customize them because I get a cool new item, I can do that at any time. The whole Huddies team can't wait to see what kind of amazing creations you make, so don't forget to join our Discord and show off the cool things you come up with. You can also submit your own creations to be added to the closet. And if you want to become a member, you can buy a 10k token, there's only 10,000 of the original token, which will get you monthly themed airdrops that unlock exclusive items for the closet. It's a fun way to collect art and get new dress up items. Lastly, there's so many ways to shop for new items. You can look through our seasons collection and buy NFTs that unlock new items. You can shop on the store to buy single items or item packs in the shop. And you can buy Honey's 10K to unlock all the items that those honeys are wearing, as well as the special bunny day set. That's it for now. Bye cupcakes.